Hello, ready to do some drawing? I hope you are. Well, we're going to get started and we're going to be drawing Ren and Skippy. Yes, the crazy duo. Um, and we're going to do both of them on here. So, this side's going to be left for Stimpy and this side's going to be for Ren. So, we're going to go and get started. And it's going to be semi easy for you. Start with a circle and then we'll do like a bean shape. Or you can do two circles if you like to help out. Um, you can do a circle right here. Just fall around and kind of whoop. See, it's like a big bean. That's what he is. He seems like a big bean. Make his head a little bit bigger than his bottom, um, just because of foreshadowing and showing angles and whatnot. And um, you can even draw here's your her lines, his line of sight, or whoops, it should be like here. Uh, got knocked off his bean head. And whoop, sorry, hit it. We'll go ahead and add some basic stuff in. So first off, we need to get his, uh, hmm, we'll say eyes. So with the line I have right here, just kind of float around with it. It's okay if it messes up. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. And we're going to do a big circle. This is going to be for his nose. And we'll have two oblong circles on the inside of it. His nostrils. Uh, that kind of give you a dimension from that. Um, do two humps right here. It's kind of like a, uh, no, we'll say a, a heart shooting in his nose or his mouth or, um, that's the best I've got. Sorry. <laughs> and we'll bring the lines up to get uh, more of a, a mouth going on here. See, there we go. And he's supposed to be a cat, which always threw me off. We'll take this and make that straight and bring it up where you see the eyes are and kind of just do the same opposite of the mouth. Okay. Kind of humps with it. And we'll go ahead and throw some circles in for his eyeballs. Throw some lines up. Put some lines down below. Always looks like he needs some sleep. And bring some lines above it and follow through. So now he's got his mask. I think it's like his detective mask that he has on. That's a good way to start it. Um, I'm going to bring this down around. We're going to actually put a little crease right there. Because uh, that's where his arm is going to be. Throw just a couple little lines in for his hair. His crazy hair. If you want to call it hair. But I guess that's what it is. Line through. Um, right here. Just kind of there. follow through with that. See? There's a big tooth. It doesn't look like he has a giant tooth. We could put another tooth right here. Like, I like, oh, look at this Skippy. He's angry. But that's not what we're doing. We're going to have his tongue come out. And not doing the best way of describing how to do this. I apologize. I'm just kind of running through it a little bit more. Because I just want to get it all here in a good time for you. Um, think of this as a steak. <laughs> if you don't like steak, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. I have to try to think of something else. But see how it kind of goes around like a T-bone? Think of it hump right here, here, and it brings down. Kind of think of that. Or, um, hmm. Or think of a weird looking pear that's been smushed up here. So there's a pear that's been whoosh, thrown around. Maybe food now is not the best, but uh, that's all I've got at the moment. We're going to put his arm behind him. So with this right here, just kind of follow it behind it with two lines. And it can be big, small, doesn't matter. He's kind of got it between. Going behind the bottom. <laughs> Bring this up. Kind of lean forward on me. Uh, okay, so we'll throw two lines in. Like this. Just do two hump lines. This one's a little bit smaller than that one. Bring it up a little closer. Put a little circle piece on both of them. Or ovals. Uh, sorry, ovals, not circles. It's kind of weird if they were circles. Uh, and then, with those lines, just follow through and make it look like legs and you can bring back uh, these they can be like really obscure they don't have to be just right and even this they can be bigger Whoop. see how he's got it yay he's like he's got shoes on but he doesn't so we got pretty much Skippy Skippy's almost there and uh, I'll go ahead and darken in so you can see uh, Skippy what he's doing they've got the lines for his crazy hair go ahead and darken his eye sockets Sorry, his iris. His eye sockets. Oh, well, 
socket. We'll say this is the eye socket. <laughs> and they're they're almost circular. They're they're pretty much more oval than circular. And we'll put the lines. Ooh, you're looking crazy. And we'll circle this around. It's a flying saucer in his nose. Oh no! Maybe that was the whole reason. They were cuckoo. Cuckoo for cocoa puffs. I think I made that reference before on on here. Okay, darken this line up, come around, hump, hump. Same with this, hump, hump, and go straight down. Bring this line back. Do you get his head? Looks like he's just a bald old man of some sort. Put those lips in there. Whoop. Those big kitty lips. Which always threw me off because I was like, where's the whiskers? Which he might have whiskers, I just never paid attention to that. Um, here's your mighty tongue. And the mouth. Or your horn. Which we're not doing on the opposite side, but that'd be kind of cool. Bring the line down. Whoop. Give him actually a little, not so much fatness right there. And we're going to line back. I got him really kind of anchored back. I'm not sure why, that, but I, I think I wanted to just do, give you an idea because it was like a P. And we're bringing the lines around. Google that. Woo! So we got kind of, we got kind of skippy right here. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, Skippy. Sorry. I was thinking Ren. I don't know. And, it's, you know, it's not Skippy, it's Stimpy. And it only threw me off, because I thought Skippy is like, you're skipping. But it's it's not, and I think maybe that's part of the reason it, it just, it was like a, it would get it, people confused. I know there's plenty of other names out there that people do, and you thought it was spelt or, or said differently, and then all of a sudden, like, wait a minute. That's not what I remember when I was a child. And then your whole perspective of what they, who they were kind of disappears. Like, wait, so this isn't the same character that I remember. I'm going to end up, oh, I got to watch it all again. And I was like, I don't even see it the same anymore. But uh, there's, there's a few of you that know what I'm talking about. <laughs> they know what happens when you have that occur to yourself. But I'll just darken this in a little bit. So you got some shadowing or something like that. Kind of wee. So he's got some texture. Any case, there we go. We got Snippy. He's not a Zach to him, but that's enough. We're going to go ahead and jump over and we're going to do Ren. And uh, I went for just a different pose. I'm just going for this. Uh, he's a little bit lower in height, so you can measure out with his eyes. Go across. That's kind of top where his head is. And we'll put a little circle on actually, kind of an oval looking thing. This is going to be his head. And put two lines up. This is a kind of a way you can do it. With like antennas. <laughs> you look at, uh oh, Space Invaders. Got a line down. And let's put like a little oval body. This is, I'm going to explain a little bit better than I did with uh, Stimpy. And um, put little lines out here. This could be where his legs are bending. And his foot's out. Kind of looks like a rabbit. Uh, a little robot rabbit. And uh, you can just swirl that up and put a line back here. That's going to be his tail. So, alright, going back up here, put my little lines. We're going to do big giant eyes that go off the top of his head. Because if you look at Chihuahuas, <laughs> their eyes are so big that it's like engulfing their head. <laughs> like, it's just like they're, they're coming out of there. It doesn't matter. It's like if you shook them, they're like an eight ball, and you might <laughs> get your fortune through their eyeballs. Uh, that's a weird analogy, but um, I don't know. I've always seen seen them in um, as crazy little little wild animals. In any case, getting back to the drawing, um, put some lines above on him, and then the other is not off. It's gonna be actually on his forehead, and we're gonna bring right here. This is gonna be the little obscure part. Bring a little line out, and then kind of bend in like that. So you kind of got a uh, a lightning bolt. I really messed up looking lightning bolt. And kind of pull up and this is going to be his nose. And we'll turn the line. And then this is going to be his mouth. And uh, it's just all really sharp. And we're going to do his mouth like that. Put a line down there so you can match up with his buddy. And go ahead and bring the lines down like this. Kind of looks like a bird. <laughs> line up. Now this is where we're going to help. Right here. Think of uh, bunny ears. That's the best way to describe it. It's like bunny ears. 
and I call it the little hairs. Down here we've got to make this pull out. So we're going to give him a little tummy. And just follow this line all the way through. And we'll just do, yeah, just do three fingers. Three fingers, put a line up, come around. Got his hand sticking out. And we're going to do his legs. You know, bring this back here. And since he's got, he's actually a dog, we're going to give him actually some feet. Mm. Pull this back. Get his little butt sticking out. And um, put some little marks in here for his toes. Whoop. I probably shouldn't, I, I need to actually pull that back here. Sorry. Um, and then we're going to do his little tail. Whoop, whoop. A little fuzz. And we'll go ahead and darken now his eyes, you know, the expression always comes from these guys, it's their mouths or eyes. And for him, I'm going to do two giant big eyeballs that are cased in. And they're going to have circles and they're going to be darkened in here. So like, you know he's crazy. I was looking at him, he looks crazy. And uh, this is not his act. Uh, I can tell right off the bat it's not exact like him, but you get the point, and it's for laughter, and we'll just do, like, uh, I know. Alright, so he is having, oh no, toxic. And why is he thinking toxic? You know, what is it that's making him feel like, oh no, death is coming for him? Um, it's because, <laughs> oh, somebody, whoop, he kind of pooted. And that's why he's laughing. Doesn't that make sense? Yes. From Rin Skippy, that always occurs. So, I'll darken this in a little bit more so you can just see him and his action. And lighten it up to get his little, whoop, whoop, little lines in there. Right there. Woo. All right. 